All right, so as a quick recap to everybody, if you're not familiar, Adobe has a variety of different connectors inside of Microsoft Power Automate. So in here, if you go to the connectors and search for Adobe, you'll see connectors for Adobe PDF services, for automating your document actions, Adobe Sign for electronic signatures, as well as Creative Cloud for the creative folks within your organization. PDF services already has a number of different actions for generating documents, OCRing PDF documents and so forth, but the new connectors that are about to become available are the PDF Properties API and the PDF Extract API as new actions. The PDF Properties action allows you to be able to take your documents and get information about that PDF, like for each one of those pages, the size of the pages, whether they contain images, whether it's scanned or not, you can also get information about whether the document has been tagged for accessibility, whether it's been certified or encrypted with a password, whether it's been digitally signed with a digital signature. All this information is extremely helpful for you to be able to sort out those documents automatically without having to manually review. Along with that, if you also look at the additional actions that are going to be available in here, and I'm going to show you based on our pre-release connector because this is a sneak peek, but these will be coming available in the coming days. There are also the extract steps here for extract images from PDF, extract the PDF structure so you can get the actual contents of the PDF. Um, you can also get things like the tables and images, and those tables come out as Excel files so you can easily pull information out of those documents. So super powerful. So to show you an example of this using the PDF properties API, I'm gonna turn this into test mode here. And I am in my OneDrive here. You can use SharePoint or anything like that. And I have a number of different documents. And based on the information about this document, it's going to tag this appropriately. So some of these documents are scanned documents. Some of them are just normal PDFs. Some of them have been signed with Adobe Sign, and some of them have been signed with things like DocuSign. Regardless of those, we're gonna drop those in here, and when we do that, it's going to trigger a flow to start to stop and analyze every single one of those documents and then tag those with metadata um, to provide more information. And if they require some action and some review, it will then assign a task for a person to uh, review that through Teams approvals in the Microsoft Teams app. And we're gonna see that it's already started tagging this with information. It tagged this document for that it was signed with Adobe Sign. If we open this up here, it's gonna open up using the document cloud viewer directly inside of SharePoint. And sure enough, this document was signed with Adobe Sign. We can see the audit report here, as well as the signature in there. We can also see that this last document, this release form, was um, detected as being scanned. And what it did as part of our flow is it used our PDF services action to then OCR that document. So it's now searchable within SharePoint and then send it for review to review if the person actually signed that document because it's scanned. Sometimes you don't see that. So once it's done that, if I go over to my team's approvals, we'll see that in my queue, I have a document that I need to review to confirm the signature. And I can click to open up that document for me to be able to view uh, directly from the task in here. I'm going to open this up using the document cloud viewer in SharePoint again here. And then once I do that, I uh, see that this definitely was a scanned document, but PDF services OCR that so now it's actually a searchable document. And if we go down to the bottom, sure enough, this was signed by Jane Doe. So we can go in here and just say approve. And once we do that, it's going to change the action inside of SharePoint, update the metadata to say that it has now been reviewed and completed there. These are powerful elements for you to be able to automate a number of different actions with your documents and cycle those through your different workflows.